this area is actually, as you can see, it's kind of the construction staging area. So the, the contractors use this to stage material. They would bring rock in here. Uh, this is actually one of the locations that they would access the lake when they were building the stone of that. Um, coincidentally, this was a portion of the existing seawall, which you can see um, right here, this, this piece of the top ring sticking up. Uh, this is a portion of the seawall that was starting to fail uh, as construction before we even got on site last year. Uh, so it was really timely when the construction started to sort of stop that active failure of the seawall. How much of a difference is it in one side? Yeah, so it's, it's pretty substantial. If you were have any video or if you were out here uh, watching wave events when it was just a seawall, you know, you would see the waves would come right up to that concrete seawall, impact it, and that overspray would go over Route 5. So with the current design, uh, it's got a pretty uh, elongated slope of that revetment. And what that does is sort of capture that wave energy. And what we've seen is uh, with winter storms last year when we were at the midpoint of construction, um, given the typical storm, those waves wouldn't even reach halfway up the revetment. So it was a drastic change from uh, the prior condition with just a straight seawall. Now tell me about the, this part here. Yeah, so what you're seeing here is Beyond the, the edge of the concrete here is the uh, armor stone revetment, and then the portion right next to us here is the splash apron itself. And it's got this concrete wall on the back end of it here just to provide a, a back a backstop to any spray that comes over. Uh, and also this is going to be a walkway for pedestrians as well. So what you're seeing is both the splash apron and the pedestrian walkway. So yeah, what you're seeing here is, is the section of concrete bump out. Uh, and what will be set inside of it is going to be a decorative medallion uh, that will signify uh, certain elements of importance to the town of Hamburg uh, and to people that live in the area. And so this will be a portion of the splash apron where people can stop, view the lake, um, sort of think about the significance of Route 5 heading into the city um, and this, this piece of shoreline here. So that is an element that you actually can't, can't see very well at this stage. Uh, there is drainage incorporated throughout the uh, course of the revetment here. There are drainage structures that drain out into the lake to capture any water that flows off of Route 5 or any overspray that comes uh, off the lake to drain it back out so that there's not any pooling or icing or uh, anything of that nature. Just, just below this is a large drainage box and a large drainage culvert that heads right straight into the revetment. Uh, you can actually see the outlet of it just out there. Have a concrete cap on it. But this is one of, one of the drainage elements for the DOT. How important is that part of it for the drainage? Besides stopping the wave action to pull what does get up back into the lake. Sure. Yeah, the drainage is very important. Uh, you know, really, water is going to come from two directions. It's going to come from the road itself, anything that falls, either from rain or spray, or direct spray, you know, from the lake in the very, very high wind event. Yeah. So moving that water safely back out into the lake is really important. So not any bonding, uh, any cooling, and any potential to have further erosion on the shore side here. So getting that water safely back out into the lake is really critical. And that's what these drainage structures will do. We realized that with the potential for drainage, for water coming off of Route 5, our team together with the DOT and the Army Corps uh, to come up with a solution that would make sure we weren't impacting hopes negatively by, by pulling any water here. And that's what this drainage structure is that you're looking at here. This is something that we just, we just realized that this uh, is fixed with heat and that's, that's what this picture is here. Like, I have to describe what a you know, uh, January morning was like sometimes. Coming yeah, absolutely. I mean, I can remember you know looking out the window and seeing across from Five, they would be closed at that time. They would, you know, block it off with, with snow plows or, or barricades. And uh, I can remember seeing large pieces of debris up on the road, logs, things like that. It wasn't uncommon to see, uh, you know, really heavy waves coming over, even hitting cars before they closed, uh, before they closed the road. So, you know, that's something that you'll see certainly a lot less of now that this is constructed. The 
as you as you kind of near the completion here, I mean, how proud are you of the progress that's been made? What a difference this has been. Very proud, very proud. This is the culmination of a lot of hard work. Um, you know, over the course of construction, but even prior to that, there was a lot of hard work that went into it, uh, both from our team, from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, uh, but even in partnership with the DOT and working with the town and the congressional interests. You know, there's a lot of work over a lot of years that's coming together in the next couple weeks, uh, so I'm really proud of it. Um, and even, you know, some of the issues that came up on the construction itself, uh, we worked really hard as a team to, to work very quickly through them so that we're not delays to construction. Uh, or any other impacts in construction. So, uh, really proud of the team. We've done a lot of great work. Really proud of it. And, uh, as you kind of look out here, I mean, what a difference is this from where we were a year ago here? A tremendous difference. Yeah, if you were to be standing here a year ago, you, know, you might not think there was much to look at. And even on a day like today, you'd probably be getting sprayed in the face with water a little bit. So, uh, to be able to stand here and talk about it is just a testament to what, what this wall and what the revetment is doing for us. Um, so it's a huge difference, really.